Tongue-in-cheek saying that no good deed goes unpunished. Well, those words were no laughing matter for one Covington police sergeant who found himself in a predicament that was sparked and ultimately resolved in a very 21st century way through the intricacies of social media. In Investigate. Oh, sorry, Tom. <laughs> no worries. Investigator reporter Mike Perlstein has the story. It was late on a Saturday night when Covington Police Sergeant Casey Anthony and his fiance Ashley Putfar drove by a man in distress in rural St. Tammany Parish. So we pulled over to make sure this guy was okay, and he says, as a matter of fact, you know, we're fine, but there's a man back there wallering around in the road. Anthony jumped out to render first aid while his fiance called 911. But she also did something else. As Anthony was administering CPR, she began taking videos with her smartphone. But just to see a team of people working together to try to save someone's life, it was just, it was really moving to me. So I had my phone and I just kind of had, had it at, you know, level down here and I was just, I started to record. Later that night, she shared some of the video clips on social media. At the end of the night, I put this on Facebook, just asking for prayers for this guy. Her post generated a flood of comments, including praise for Anthony and the other first responders for acting as good Samaritans. The post included this one from a St. Tammany Sheriff's deputy who wanted to use the videos for commendations. She took this as a stamp of approval, but she asked him just to make sure, especially after finding out that the victim died at the hospital. An autopsy later determined he suffered a heart attack. I said, you know, can, is this okay that this is up? Are you guys okay with this? Is this something that's fine? And, and he's like, yeah, you know, I think it's great publicity. And I think, you know, everything, everybody did a great job. But a ranking supervisor in the St. Tammany Sheriff's Office and ultimately Covington Police Chief Tim Lentz had the opposite reaction. They found the videos to be, quote, offensive and exploitive. I'm sure you as parents as well would be alarmed to know your loved one's last moments of life were captured on social media for the whole world to see. I take issue with that. Things got worse for Anthony. Lenz suspended him, then demoted him. Turns out that Lenz had warned Anthony once before about posting police business on social media. He had been admonished about Facebook posts and police business on the internet. Severely admonished. Anthony's disciplinary notice listed seven separate violations, including three from the department's new social media policy. It may very well fall into the uh, category of no good deed goes unpunished. Through his attorney, Donovan Livacari, Anthony appealed. This case is simple. Casey Anthony did not do anything that he was disciplined for. Livacari pointed out that the post appeared on Anthony's Facebook page because his fiance tagged him. Tagging is an identification tool that can forward a post to a person's timeline without them realizing it. So when I tagged him, I didn't even know that that could potentially get him in trouble. Casey did not make any video. Casey did not post a video to Facebook. Casey did not tag himself in the Facebook post. Casey did not know about any of these actions until after they were done. A couple of civil service members admitted they had never used Facebook but they were able to quickly zero in on one key issue, as seen in this exchange with Deputy Chief Stephen Collada. He never posted, correct? That I, no, I think, I think Ashley posted everything. But one more problem was raised by Chief Lentz, the issue of sensitivity toward the family of the man who died. Though his efforts may have been heroic, at the end of the day, the man died. That's when Liva Carey played his social media ace in the hole. The victim's mother also saw the Facebook post, and she wrote back with these comments, thanking Ashley and the first responders, calling them angels for ensuring that her son did not die alone. The civil service hearing went on for more than four hours into the night, but the decision was quick and unanimous. Full reinstatement for Casey Anthony. Oh, I was ecstatic. I was just, you know, it's my fiance didn't deserve to go down for something that A, I put on Facebook and B, for trying to save someone's life. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News. Now that he has his stripes back, Anthony has been reassigned as a patrol supervisor. As a result of his appeal, he was granted back pay and service time that had been forfeited when he was disciplined.